It's one of my favorite things to teach. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to teach. What you want to do, um, generally speaking, is AX squared plus BX plus C. Most quadratic expressions are trying to know those stuff this way. Now, the first 12, A is going to always equal 1 for the first 12 here. Mm -hmm. A, the um, the coefficient of the squared term. Like, so you have T squared, P squared, mm -hmm. N squared, R squared, W squared, T squared, M squared, Y squared, X squared, X squared, H squared, N squared. So A is always going to be 1 in this case. Mm -hmm. C is going to be 12 for number 1. So you do A times C, which is 12. Yeah. So you always put A times C at the top of the diamond. And you put B at the bottom. Yeah. My B here is 8. Mm -hmm. Now, your job is to find two numbers that multiply A times C and add to B. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. I was doing this at lunch, yeah. So in this case, it'll be 2 and 6. Yeah. And at that point, you're done. That's it. It's uh, it's gonna be t plus two and t plus six. You go straight. To, you go straight to the answer. Because mm -hmm. if you foil it, you mm -hmm. get t squared, six t, two t, and twelve. I'm uh, sorry, I was missing handwriting. You get t squared plus eight t, yeah, plus twelve. And that's that. There you go. Okay. And yeah. That's what happens there. Um, <clears throat> so if I, I'll do another one, then I'll have to try one. Like number two, for example. Oh, uh, yeah. Thing. My teacher, like, he's kind of like retarded. Uh, he makes it uh, the longest way possible for this. Like, how? No, we like, I'll tell you, tell you the steps he makes us do to find them. Okay. Good. He wrote it down nicely for us. Okay. Step one. Factor out the GCF if possible. Step if two, you can. Mm -hmm. put the trinomial into standard form. Step okay. three, find the product of AXC. Okay. Step four, find two integers of the product uh -huh. of A. And he has, a, he has a typo in this too, you know? It's okay, so keep, keep going. A times C. Then that, that add up to B. Okay. Low example are when e, A equals one. Okay. Yeah. It's the same thing. I did the exa same exact thing just you know. It um, seems, it seems pretty more simple. It's uh, um well we didn't have GCF um yeah, but, it yeah. was it was already in standard form yeah and uh, and I did steps three and four pretty seamlessly. I, I mean it, it might seem longer than it really is, but it's it's actually pretty short. Like for example, what two numbers multiply twelve and add to seven? Twelve to seven. It multiply to twelve and add to seven. Um, six. No, two numbers that multiply 12 and add to 7. Oh, 3 and 4. Good. And that's it. You're done. N yeah. plus 3, N plus 4. And you do that consistently. This is an incredibly consistent mm -hmm. topic that probably yeah. the most consistent topic you'll see in this entire course. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of bland, but it, it's nice in the sense that you feel like you've mastered this when you get through it. Yeah. Like here, I'm going to do P and P. So once you get very good at it, you can kind of just go straight to the answer. So you kind of ask yourself, well, what multiplies a 20 and adds a 9? What multiplies a 20 and adds a 9? 4 and 5. You're done, right? There you go. Yeah. And I'll do one more because so you get the hang of it. Um, I'll, I'll go down to 11 because that's kind of a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Okay, what multiplies to 56 but adds to negative 15? Seven Seven there eight. you go. And make both a negative, of course. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're, we're good there. Let's look at the more complicated ones. Mm -hmm. We'll need to simmer on those a little bit. Okay. So, yes. If there's a GCF, do look for it. I don't think any of these do, as I'm scanning through all these choices here. None of them do. Because yeah. um, it'll make your life easier if you do as a GCF. Um, and actually, the faction flow chart, um, which... I Wait, I got a quick example. I kind of got confused with the greatest common... It factors, like, what multiplies every single one. Like, let's say... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, let me uh, pull up my factor and flow chart. Uh, hold on, factoring. Borrow somewhere on the east flow side. chart. There we go. Yeah. So same thing, right? Common factors, pull them out, and then um, after that, um, you know, the first last one is perfect squares. If they are, you're here. 
if link coverage is one, you go down this way. If not, um, you know, then use a diamond in some other techniques. Um, but yeah, you know, it's the same pretty much thing. Um, so here I'm going to do, so what was I going to do for uh, 13? For 13, my A and C are two and two each. So I have four and my B is five. So two numbers that multiply to four and add up to five are one and four, right? Yeah. So now what I do is this. You can't go straight to the answer because the leading term is not one, yeah. unfortunately. So what you do is you put the first term in here, mm -hmm. the last term in here, mm -hmm. and, oh, geez. And then you do um, X and 4X. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, so then what you have to ask yourself, what can I take out of the first row? Can you take out of the first row? What's the GCF of the first row? Two. Two X. Ah. Hold on, switch colors here so it stands out a little more. And what do you multiply to two X get a two X squared? Mm -hmm. what, what do you multiply to two X get to two X squared? One. No, yeah. X. 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 Okay, then what do you multiply to x to get to x? x. 1. Yeah, but it's x, right? Okay, and then what are you going to put over here? Finish it off. Uh, 1. No, 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 take your time. What do you multiply to 2x to get to 4x? 2. Exactly. And that's your answer, 2x plus 1 mm -hmm. times x plus 2. Mm -hmm. And that's how it works. Because mm -hmm. if you FOIL, you get 2x squared, 4x, x, and 2. Mm -hmm. You get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Yeah. And that's your answer. So let's try it again. Let's look at 14. So what's a times c? Uh, 6n squared. Yeah, I'll just say 6. And what's the middle term? Two. No, the middle term. Four, four. The four. middle term for number 14. Oh, five. 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 Okay, what can it, would two numbers multiply six and add to five? Three. Sorry, three, go ahead. Two, three and two, three and two. Perfect. Now you can do a box. Mm -hmm. You always put one term, the first term in the top left, the bottom term in the bottom right, so last one in the bottom right. And then you put the two terms you just created. Because what you're doing is you're splitting the middle term when you do this diamond. Now, look at the first row. What can you pull out of the first row? Three and three. No, for, first row. Oh, three. First row. Wait. First row. What's the GCF for the first row? Uh, one. No. Two. Okay, what are your terms in the first row? Maybe you don't know what the first row is. Three n squared and, and two. N. Okay, what do they have in common? N. Thank you. Oh. Good. All right, that's not that hard. I don't know what you were looking at. I have no clue. Okay, first column. What can you? What's common between those two? two? N. More mm -hmm. higher. Three n. Good. Thank you. Okay, now, what do you multiply three n to get to three n? Three. No. Three n times three is nine n. Oh, one, one, one. One. Thank you. What do you multiply one to get the two? Two. There you go. Yeah. You need incredible focus for this, just so you know. Mm -hmm. it's incredible. It requires incredible focus. But if you focus incredibly, you're going to get all these right all the time. You'll never miss them. So there you go. Okay, let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at 15. What yeah. can you multiply? Uh, so what, what's... what's um, a times C. Four. No, no. Ten. Negative ten. Yeah. What's B? Nine. Okay. Give me two numbers that multiply negative ten out to nine. Uh, I don't know. Wait. There's not, not that many options. Um, there really wouldn't be any. They made three and seven. No, no, multiply. Multiply negative 10. 
Mm. Okay, just give me two numbers that multiply negative 10. Oh, five and, five and two. But that doesn't work because then it doesn't get us nine. So try again. There's only one other pair. One and 10. Okay, but one of them has to be negative. Which one's negative? The, the 10. No, the one, the one, going the too one fast. Is subtract, it's it's going too fast. Hmm? Right. Okay. Good. Now you do your box. Hmm? So two t squared. And then we put uh negative t. Mm -hmm. What can you factor out of the first row? T. Higher. Two t. Good. Okay. So now tell me, what are you gonna put here now? Uh we're gonna put C? No, because these two have to multiply to 2t squared. Oh, so that'll be... T, right? T, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then what are you going to put here? Because now these have to multiply. These two have to multiply to negative t. So what are you going to put in that circle now? Negative t. No, because what's t times negative t? Negative 2t. Negative t squared. Yeah, so we have we have negative t here. So what are you gonna multiply t to get to negative t? Negative one. And then lastly, what are you gonna put? What are you gonna put right here? Um, five. Yeah, so you got it. Yeah, that's all. All right, let's do this a few more times. I do, I do have to end about six o'clock. So um, right. let's do um, 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, am I, what will I put at the top of the diamond? Six. At the bottom? Seven. Negative seven. That'd be... okay, what multiplies to six adds to negative seven? Six and negative one. No, six... Negative six and one. Both negative. Yeah, both negative. Man. Yeah. Good. Okay, what do you take out of the first row? Um, GCF for the first row. Why? For G. Or no, 2G. I'll, I'm just going to stare at you blankly until you get the right answer. Negative 2. Wait. It's bad. Is that a G or... Yes, so, G. Those are Gs. Um, so be 2G. 3G! 3G! Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then what are you going to put? What are you going to put right here? Why, uh, negative G. Just G. Mm -hmm. why, why is negative G bad? Because it will make it positive. You want positive 3G squared. You don't want negative 3G squared. Oh, 3G yeah. times G. Okay. What are you going to put right here? Negative G. If you put negative G, then what are you going to have? G times negative G is negative G squared. I have a negative G here. Oh, you positive if you put G. No. What do you multiply to G to get to negative G? Negative G. No. What's G times negative G? Negative. G squared. I want negative G. What are you going to multiply to G to get to negative, negative G? One. Negative one. Yeah, I don't know why you're doing that. It's negative one, it's though, a, right? It's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a simple multiplication. Yeah. Okay, then what do you multiply to 3G to get negative 6G? 2G? Two, uh, 2 and 3. What's 2 times 3? 6. What do you see here? I don't see a 6. Negative 6, I meant. Okay, so, we're, so what are you going to put instead of 2 here? 
Negative three and oh, negative two, negative two, negative two. Yeah, yeah, you're shooting from the hip. I don't know why. Just take a deep breath. So three G minus one, G minus two. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Okay. All right, what do you put up top? You're seventeen. Uh, thirty. Bottom? 11. Negative 11. Mm -hmm. give, me, give me the two numbers that multiply 30 and add to negative 11. 5 and 6. Negative. Okay. Okay. So remember, we put 2t squared here, mm -hmm. 15 here, negative 5t, and negative 16. Mm -hmm. Yes. What can you pull out of the first row? Mm -hmm. What can we pull out of the first row? Negative three. No, two. Just two. Two. S squared. T squared. No, just two T. What can you pull out of the last row? Three. Negative three. three. Negative three. three. It's, 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 can five be divided by three? Uh, yeah. Okay. No, no. No, no. Five can be divided by five. Five, though. Okay, so that should be negative five. Yeah. Okay, what can you multiply to two t to get to two t squared? By um one t. Good, much better. What can you multiply to two t to get to negative six t? Negative three t. Why are you doing that? You do it every single time. I don't get it. We've never had that. Every single problem we've done, we've not done that. It's negative three. Yeah, it's negative three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Get, that's, gonna get gonna that's, that's gonna make it squared. That's gonna make it squared. That's gonna make it squared. No, yeah. no, it's not. It's, it's, yeah, but yes, they're, 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 they're no squared. It's negative six t. I mean, if I put squared, if I put t, yeah. Okay, good. Yes. All right, let's do one more. All right, eighteen. All right. Okay, we know we know what's going on here. I know that. Okay, and I know I'll, I'll just do this. Um, Oh, actually, this is prime. Because you can't find two numbers that multiply negative 12 and after three, mm -hmm. or two integers. So that's actually prime. Let's do when it's Dude, not what, prime. What I write uh, if it's a prime number? No, you write prime just means it can't be factored. It's not a prime number. I, I know it's not a prime number. Like, uh, like in prime, you know, yeah, I got confused. It just means it can't be factored. That's all. Um, let's do uh, 20 really quickly here. Negative 20. Negative 20 and 8, okay. I know it's going to be 10 and negative 2. Yep. Mm. Yeah. That's fast. Okay. Um, so, negative 2. It's negative no. 2. No, it's positive. It's positive two H. Yeah, two H. Okay. Then over here, be two two H also because the square. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then at the bottom, that'll be five. Okay. And then at the top corner, that would be oh, negative. Oh, that'll be negative two. No. Negative one. Okay. Bad. There we go. Okay, much better. We'll slowly need more, a little more practice, but okay, getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 just slow down. Don't rush it. Um, because rushing it, this is. I get frustrated because when you rush it, it's not necessary. You're doing things that are not necessary that um hurt you. We don't want that, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, for some reason, I have you down two more times this week. I don't know why. Do I? Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Hold on, let me let me take a look at this calendar. Um, this is this is bizarre. I don't know why I have you down. Um, it, my mom said it should be Wednesday. It should be Wednesday, not Thursday. I don't know why I have you down for Thursday. Yeah, let me let me delete Thursday. Yeah, so I have that open, which is good. That's that, actually that's a good thing. Um, then who did I was I supposed to have someone else on Thursday? I hope not. Hold on. Brenna Miller. Um, 
Yeah, let me just double check. Just give me one sec here. Um, copy. Yeah, your mom did put it twice, but yeah, we don't need that. I'll, I'll cancel the Thursday one. Okay, so that's good at least. At least I, I didn't, I didn't uh, mean to book someone else there. So that's because usually that makes me a little nervous when I uh, when that happens. Um, maybe I'll have dinner with a friend that night. So okay, good. Four, five, five, five to six, six to seven p.m. Cool. All right, they're all set. Okay, cool. I'll see you Wednesday on Zoom yeah. at five p.m. Sounds good. Have a good night. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye.